Swedish Airlines Euroleague. I feel devotion. In this episode, let's live together the two playoffs game fives. From Piraeus with the reigning champions and Vasilis Panoulis. From Barcelona talking to Viktor Sada and Rocco Ukic. Seska's Nenad Kurstic and Sergio Rodriguez of Real Madrid already have their tickets to London. And lastly, the B-Win MVP and the fantastic top five plays. One play and a few seconds to make it. That was the difference in Game 4 in Istanbul between Anadolu Efes and Olympiakos Piraeus. And that's how Jamon Lucas pushed the series to Game 5 in a great comeback win for the Turkish side. 160 minutes of basketball were not enough to make a difference between two teams that fought all the way to reach the ultimate Euroleague honour, making it to the Final Four. To be the best, you need the best. Vasilis Spanoulis has been the standout player in so many games over the years. He is a respected Euroleague superstar and a true team leader. Every year after Euroleague title is always very, very, very tough because everybody wants to win you. Uh, everybody has double motivation against you because you are Euroleague champion and everybody wants. If I was in their position, I would do the same. We have to be uh, double concentrated, double motivated, everything at a higher level that you, uh, we used to do it. And that's a difficult thing. This season we have already seen some formidable and decisive plays from him. But not only can he score and make plays for his Olympiakos teammates, he's also a firm believer in a fundamental value that can unite and bind a group. Honesty. And let's say even uh, good or bad things, everybody, everything we say it in front and uh, we don't have something to say uh, when we leave from the gym. Uh, this is the only way to improve and uh, to say the truth, uh, even in good things or in bad things. To become a player like him, you need to study. You need to work on all those details that make the difference between making a good play or not, between winning and losing. It's uh, mental preparation, self-critic, uh, it's a lot of videos because when you see yourself on video, uh, for sure you will face the truth. Because if you don't see, maybe you say that is not my, my mistake, maybe it's somebody else's mistake. But when you see the video, uh, you see what's the reality. Of course, to have character, to pass through difficult situations. Because in the end, who is more mentally strong, and uh, he will take uh, the titles. The video sessions are part of his preparation. We also try to learn more about his pre-game routine. What advice can we follow in getting motivated for the biggest challenges? When something is not uh, going good, uh, sure, I, I change my, you know, maybe sometimes my music. My level of concentration is getting higher when the crucial games are coming. Because, let's be honest, it's not, uh, it's not easy for uh, 10, 9, 10 months we play in a row to make the same things. It's, it's getting boring and, you know, it's, I'm not concentrated like I want. So I try to change to motivate myself and to be really ready when uh, the tough uh, times are coming. If Vasilis Spanoulis was ready to lead his team to victory again, Anadolu Efes came to Greece to finally find a way to represent their country in the Turkish Airlines Euroleague Final Four. There was a pretty relaxed atmosphere during the team's shoot-around on Friday morning. Of course, everybody was concerned about Game 5 against the defending champions. The guests showed all their confidence heading to this huge event. 
it feels great. You know, that's what we play for, it, to, to be in the biggest game situations and play for all the marbles. Uh, I've been in game sevens in the NBA playoffs and finals, and uh, it's fun. I mean, that's what it's all about, it's what you dream about when you're a little kid, to be in these moments and, and play well and come through. So I look forward to the challenge. I'm happy that we as a team have got this opportunity and so close to one goal that we set out for ourselves at the beginning of the year. We have no pressure. Uh, the pressure is on them. They home, so they defend. They home court. You know they defend the champ. So we're gonna try to just put the pressure on them. Just come out and play with nothing to lose, and hopefully we get a win. Coach Oktay Mamuti relied on his backcourt, but also on the experience of Dusko Savanovic, who faced the playoffs game five two years ago while playing with Valencia. I really expect it's gonna be tonight. Is that we're gonna have that we're gonna have our night. We're gonna feel the spacing. We're gonna shoot. We're gonna score. We're going to manage to play how we play last, let's say, two months. Later that morning, Olympiakos came to the arena to go over the final details. This game now, there is nothing to do more, you know, about tactic or about bringing to the court something new. No, now it's one game who wants it more and of course the difference is the main key on this game. Uh, you have to go inside and fight and for its defense, for its possession and to be ready for, uh, for the best, you know, to give your best effort. It's one game and who wins, go to the Final Four. Concentration of both teams reached its peak as the players came out to warm up. The Reds wanted to please their crowd, but Anadolu Efes made an impressive start. The Turkish side executed extremely well in the first half, reaching a 15-point lead in the second quarter. The hosts were able to cut that margin to eight points at halftime, thanks to the energy of Karl Heinz and Kostas Papanikolaou, but it was still a tough night for them. Vasilis Banoulis combined 1 for 14 on field goals in Istanbul, but he scored 7 points in the third quarter and most importantly, he was able to involve his teammates and tie the game. The guests didn't let Olympiakos get away after blowing their lead. However, Olympiakos just had too much with the Greek core making great plays and Jordan Farmer watching the game from the bench due to injury. At the end, Olympiakos won 82-72, led by 19 points by Spanoulis and 15 by Printesis. They will defend their title in London and their party could finally begin. This team, they play, we play always with instinct and uh, those, the, the, all those games, if you want to win it, you win it only by instinct. Uh, anything else doesn't count in this moment, especially in the last minutes. We deserve to be here. Uh, we are again in Final Four after a European uh, champion, after the trophy that we take. And this is, believe me, very, 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 very difficult. Especially in one year that changed so much in Euroleague, so many games, so many up and downs from all the teams, from all the players. So big season, so many games, mentally very hard. But we show character, we show our uh, quality, how strong mentally we are. There was a lot of curiosity to know if we could see the rematch of last year's championship game between the Russian side and Olympiakos Piraeus in the next Final Four. 
We celebrated the glorious comeback of the Reds in that game, but the downside was Seska's disappointment for having lost the title after throwing away a 19-point lead. It's still a very tough pill to swallow for Seska's centre Nena Kurstic, who came back from the United States to win this trophy. Before you start the season with Ceska, you know the goals. It's uh, win the Euroleague. So, you know, second place in, in Euroleague is not the bad thing, but for Ceska is always to win. So, I can't really say it was a great success, but uh, overall, we, we, we had a great season. We won the VTB League, we won the Russian Championship, second place in Euroleague. Uh, of course, everybody knows how we lost the, the, the final, uh, final game, but uh, uh, maybe that's uh, my worst memory in, in my career. Nenad is now one of the most important centers in the EuroLeague, if not the best, and he has put some impressive numbers together during the season, especially in the playoffs against Cajalabaral Vitoria, averaging more than 28 points per 40 minutes, shooting 72% from the field. This is all down to hard work and also the education he received from the great basketball school he attended in his early years, Partizan Belgrade. Especially when you play for Partizan, you know, uh, it's always uh, you put the team first. And uh, uh, I was lucky to have a, uh, great teammates with me, older guys who helped me a lot. And uh, it's really just, uh, I can say, maybe those four years in Partizan may be the best uh, four years in my career. Now that he and his team have qualified for the Final Four, Kerstich has only one thing in mind to banish the bitterness of defeat forever in the most anticipated basketball event in Europe. From uh, I play for Ceska, you know, we, know, we all know the goal, win the Euroleague, and uh, uh, my personal goal is uh, to win the Euroleague because I've never, uh, never been it before, so uh, uh, that's my personal and the team's goal too. So. We're going to do whatever it takes to come back in finals and do uh, right this time. Barcelona survived an elimination game on the road as they did in 2009, when they played their only other Turkish Airlines EuroLeague playoffs game five. Victor Sada played only six minutes that night against Cajalabaral Vitoria but now he's more experienced and reliable for his team. He started 12 of 28 games in this season, which is proof that his coach and his teammates have confidence in his game. I change your mentality and give you a little bit of more of confidence, but on this team, everybody can play in the starting five, and this season we have a lot of different starting fives, so it doesn't change a lot because everybody knows his role. For a former Blaugrana like Rocco Ukic, it was the first ever EuroLeague playoffs game five, and he was looking for his second final four qualification since his first EuroLeague appearance with Vitoria. It was the first final four that I've been in Prague. 2006 was one of the best experiences in my life. Uh, I, I was still a kid; I was 20 years old, but uh, it was amazing. And after that final four. I remember finished this season much better than before because this gave me so much confidence because I was so happy and encouraged that I can play with the top European players. Now I'm kind of a little bit in different position. I'm more proven player than I was before and I will be more than, uh, than happy that if I can play one more Final Four. When it comes to those kinds of games, you better expect the unexpected. Even if we all know, and Panathinaikos know, that Juan Carlos Navarro will try to get the job done for his side and in front of his fans. So he can score on several different ways, so it's impossible to, to guard him, that, to shut him down. But it's possible to make him uh, suffer for every point and to make him work for every point. And that's what we are trying to do. We try to give him different coverages, try to make him his life not easy and try to guard him in different players and always have like one good defender on him. 
So it's basically like uh, or Mike Bramos or me or James on him. Victor Sada has scored all of his 19 points at home in this series, setting his season high in game one. We all know that he isn't the go-to guy style of player, but he knows how much he can help his team. I have to do the different things that uh, a lot of people uh, doesn't want to do, but uh, are probably the most important things on, on basketball. And I do everything. I can score, I can uh, assist, rebound, defense, and I like to play also these uh, important moments. The players were all ready to go for it. And James Gist of Panathinaikos knew what to expect returning to Palau Blaugrana after Game 4. It's going to be a fight. Barcelona is going to be Barcelona, and you know we got to come back and, and, and play better. You know tonight we, you know we didn't play good from the beginning. From the beginning, you know we started out real slow. Barcelona, you know, got momentum and they got confidence um, early in the game, and uh, you know that played a factor. Coming to Paulo Blaugrana for this exciting rendezvous, both teams were ready with their game plan. It is often said that winning in the playoffs is a matter of adjustments. And that's what both coaches studied, keeping in mind what had worked well in the previous games and what they had to correct. In the playoffs, it is the same if you win by a few points or 20 points. Then again, we felt that we played badly in the final moments of the second and third games. And this was a conditioning factor for us. We missed free throws, lost the ball and made bad choices. And we'll try not to commit these mistakes again. Coach Argiris Pedulakis knows that Barcelona came back home with great confidence as they survived Game 4 in Athens. Back on their court, they would try to set their rules to push it to their rhythm. Greek teams want to play set, organized basketball. Spain is a different school, although Barcelona have managed to escape from that. They're a team that can play both styles. We're a new team, so we don't have the luxury or the depth to go out and play an open game. There are some things that we're going to do, we have talked about it. We've worked on these things and we're ready to demonstrate them on the basketball court. As everybody expected, the home side tried to control the game from the very first minute. Rocco Ukic scored the very first basket for Panathinaikos. It wasn't enough to stop Barcelona's shockwave. A couple of three-pointers gave the Spanish champions a comfortable double-digit lead, but they were still hungry. Carlos Navarro started a 9-0 run in the second quarter that led his team to a 19-point lead. It was a completely different game in the second half. Suddenly the defences dominated the contest. Panathinaikos restricted Barcelona to only two field goals in the third quarter with an impressive defensive effort as the green big men overshadowed the Blaugrana's ball handlers in a very competitive tactical challenge. Panathinaikos ran a lot of plays starting with Dimitris Diamantidis off the ball. However, the Greek leader cut Barcelona's lead to six points, crossing the last two quarters. Everybody waited for Juan Carlos Novara too. And he was there with five points in a row, replying to his rival. In the very final minute, both teams were looking for a decisive play. Then the 
the ball came to Marcelinho Huertas. That three-point shot finally knocked Panathinaikos out. Nathan Jawai set a performance index rating of 21 with 9 points, 6 rebounds and 3 blocks in 21 minutes. I mean, we're happy, you know, but uh, it's not the end. But uh, find the Rikers tickets to 5 games, um, they play real well and um, we found a way where we can obviously win a game. So it was hard work, but it's not finished yet. The Australian big man earned the Game 5 B-Win MVP award. Barcelona won 64-53 and they will meet their domestic arch-rivals Real Madrid in the semi-final game in London. Three losses in the regular season but a first place finish in the group. Second place in the top 16 group, just behind Seska Moscow, this time suffering four defeats. Then came the playoffs, where Real Madrid was the only undefeated team after dominating Maccabi Electra Tel Aviv over three matches. This meant a promising route to the final four. A very satisfying performance for the club, the supporters and the players. This group of players is the secret of the season, almost the same group that reached the final four in Barcelona two years ago. A group of friends are not just teammates where there is no real leader, which puts them all in the same level. One of these co-leaders is without a doubt Sergio Rodriguez, who knows exactly why his team have had such a fantastic season so far. I think our confident during during the, the whole season. We were playing uh, very good. Uh, we know it was going to be uh, bad games and bad moments, but we figured out to get better and, and work every day, and we are in the position that we're going to be at the beginning of the season. Confidence is a basic quality to play and win, even if the stats are not perfect. For example, long-range shots. Despite a less than enthusiastic 30%, Sergio never refuses to take them, and nor do his teammates. What is important is to carry on playing, because eventually something good will happen. In fact, in the playoffs, Sergio improved his percentage to 36% with a decent 4 for 11 three-pointers. I'm shooting uh, much better during this season, especially in the Spanish league, and I'm shooting more and, uh, and better. The percentage in, on, the, on, the, on the Euroleague is, is worse, but I'm, I'm trying to read the game, how, how, how it goes, and uh, especially uh, difficult games, the defense is very, very uh, tight and we have to sp try to spread. And after a few shots, we can, we can try to, to go to the basket. However, his job is not to score the points, but to make life easier for his teammates. The rule in basketball is take your shot if open. Sergio averaged more than six assists per game against Maccabi, which took the pressure off the rest of his players. Something coach Pablo Lazo has tried to impose on his team, but is a winning mentality. We have to get the, the appearance that the opponents uh, give us. So we have to, to like I say always, uh, we are a very off, uh, talented offensive team, but when we defend and we will rebound, uh, it's way easier for us. So when we do those things uh, in offense, we get the rhythm easier. Two years ago in Barcelona, Real Madrid lost in the semi-final against Maccabi. Now they go to London after three wins over the same team. These are good omens for Sergio and his friends. Now let's take a look at the top five plays of Game 5. Number five, Piraeus, Greece. End of the first quarter. Josh Powell chases down the loose ball, dials up a shot from the arc, 
and beats the buzzer with the first three-pointer of his EuroLeague career. Number four. Barcelona, Spain, and Nature Y of Barcelona bodies up to Sophocles, scores Zanites of Panathinaikos, and climbs the ladder to take that shot away. Number three, back to Barcelona, the hustle by Erasim Lorbeck. The behind the back pass by Juan Carlos Navarro, and the easy two points for Nature Y on a night of great teamwork by FC Barcelona Regal. Number two, still in Barcelona, Joe Ingles is ahead of the pack, but James Gist of Panathinaikos comes out of nowhere to smack the ball off the glass. And the number one play of playoffs game five, back to Piraeus, Anadolu FS Istanbul on the break, Josh Ship reaching for the sky with a super slam. Airlines Euroleague.